Yeah. It's crazy out there. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is the Honor Show, and of course, I'm dubbed. And I have an epic show for you guys today, and I mean epic. So, so we can get started real quick, hit the like button. And so you never miss any of my future videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. There's a new song that dropped today for the new Grand Theft Auto game. And it's called Gospel, and it's by Dr. Effin Dre. And guess who Dre brought for a feature? That's right, the one and only rap god, Eminem. There's another legendary artist who's going to pop up, but I ain't going to tell you guys who it is yet. But what a lineup already. I mean, we got Eminem. The rap god, the greatest lyricist of all time, tearing it up on a Dr. Dre beat. I mean, come on, we got Dr. Dre, hands down the best producer ever, who's orchestrated gangster rap from the beginning. I started this gangster shit. Yeah, Dre's been in it since day one, orchestrating shit, bringing us things like N.W.A., the D.O.C., Eminem, Snoop Dogg, and so much more. Freaking legendary. Everything he touches is great. So let's get into it because honestly, I don't want you ADD motherfuckers to start skipping my video because you can't pay attention long enough till we get to the music. So let's get to it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What? What? Yeah, 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 yeah. Dre, you ready? Timeless, ready for him. progress, feeling like I'm just getting started, two shots back for my dearly departed, uh, you are now dealing with a monster, oh shit, profits, Doc Dre bitch, I'm a prophet, Black Wall Street, niggas know where the stock is. Damn, Dre sounds serious as hell, and I love that beat, I love how he's doing his cadence and everything he's doing with his voice, it sounds great, I love it, you're dealing with a monster, oh shit, profits, Doc Dre bitch, I'm a prophet. Wall Street, know where the stock is. That shit's cool. All right, let's go back to the beginning of the verse and just hear it from there. Check, check, check. Cut him undercover. Timeless. Ready for him. Progress. Feeling like I'm just getting started. Two shots back for my dearly departed. Uh, you are now dealing with a monster. Oh, shit. Profits. Doc Dre, bitch, I'm a prophet. Black Wall Street, niggas know where the stock is. <laughs> Try me. Niggas never see me, but it ain't hard to find me. <laughs> Unwinding, shit's blinding, still grinding, uprising. Ah. Stop talking about the past, I'm the future, nigga. Ah. Nigga like me, still here, motherfucker, go figure. Looking for my next gold digger. Yes, yes, I love it. I love it. I love everything he just said. And then he's like, can't, don't see me, but it ain't hard to find me. Unwinding, blinding, uprising. And then Dr. Dre said... Stop talking about the past, I'm the future, nigga. And Dr. Dre is killing this shit right now. I love this. I need more right now. Let's get to it. Next gold digger. This summer here gonna be colder than winter. Already told you I fold you like hundreds of billions and you can go miss it. Put that on my children. Bet that. Nigga what? Regret that. Run it up. <laughs> and I'm about to sum it up. This shit here, that problem. Living at the bottom of a bottle. Full throttle, my motto, eh, fucking with me like fucking with the lotto, that awful, in your nostril, in a brothel, this is gospel, yeah, I'ma need all that punches. Dang, Dre is slaughtering this beat, and by the way, this beat is otherworldly, I love it, what do you say, uh, this summer gonna be colder than winter, already told you, I fold you like hundreds and billions, and you can go miss and put that on my children. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> this is epic this is fire i love it what did he say bet that homie what regret that run it up i'm about to sum it up man let's hear some more i, I gotta get some more let's come he actually did the whole verse there 
Um, what's coming next is the chorus, and there's something special in there for you guys. Yes, Why you on that? No one knows us. Overdosed on what dope is. Yeah, hip hop shit sell better than the coke did. Yes, dude, guys, that was freaking legendary. And do you guys even realize who that was on the hook? Seriously, do you realize who that was? I'm gonna get my head on a platter, like cut off. What? Oh, I'm talking to him. <laughs> like Steven, <laughs> like what's the homeboy name? Steven Spielberg. It's yeah. some crazy stuff like that. That's right. The one and only D O C. Surprise, motherfucker. That man deserves an award for that performance. His voice goes so good with the beat because the beat's dirty and grimy and his voice sounded so evil. It was so great. It just meshed so well. Give that man a hand. I love what he said there, too. It was great. It was like, ride till I die. I don't give a fuck if you bitches die. Put a hole in your motherfucking face. And uh, just everything he said, man. He deserves flowers. He's, he's really worked hard over his whole career. All his albums are dope. And he's worked with Dr. Dre his whole career and many other important people. He's worked behind the scenes and in front of the light and done a lot of work and contributed huge to hip-hop. DOC, much props, much love to you, man. And I like how, like, his voice kind of blended in with Dre's there on the chorus, and then Dre kind of took over, and he was like, uh, I am that motherfucker, but the coldest, why you on that? No one know us. Overdosed on what dope is. Hip-hop shit sold better than the coke did. Woohoo! Oh, my God! That is one of the slickest lines I've ever heard in my life. That is going down in the books for sure. Plus, having DOC on the hook with them, man, that's legendary in itself. When was the last time you seen Dr. Dre with the DOC? Man, that's awesome. And if you ask me, that is the best verse Dre has ever spit. I don't care what anybody says. You can argue all you want, but even you guys, if you don't think so, will have to agree it's at least in his top three. I think it's his best. And all you mumble-ass rappers spitting <laughs> weird shit, the doctor just showed you guys how to do it. So pay attention. He showed you how to rap new style beats with new style rapping and still keep that mumble shit out of it. So that's how you do it. What the fuck are you doing? That hook, that first verse, yes! Now, let's get to the next part, and you guys already know what's coming next. We got the rap god, the master. We got Eminem coming in on his verse. Let's get to it. I can't wait anymore. Like a satanic cult, it's an old ritual slaughtering goats, bitch. Yeah, you're fucking with the original flow, sick, and anybody can get it. COVID. Man, did you hear that? That was so cold. Man, we gotta rewind that shit. We gotta hear it again. Yeah, hip hop shit sell better than the coke did. Like a satanic cult, it's an old ritual slaughtering goats, bitch. Yeah, you're fucking with the original flow, sick, and anybody can get it. COVID. Yes, like a satanic cult, it's an old ritual, slaughtering goats, bitch, you're fucking with the original, flow sick, anybody can get it, COVID, I know I messed up the cadence there, I'm not Eminem, but I mean, that's so sick, do you get it about the goats, because Eminem is a goat, and he comes in slaughtering anybody on the mic who thinks they're a goat, so that's what that line's about, it ain't about no devil crap for any of you guys out there that's gonna blow your mind and say, oh yeah, Eminem is lucky, you just mentioned it again. Go to sleep with that shit. Stop it. Get some help. Damn, M is a straight monster with that pen. I, I gotta hear some more. All this great shit we've been hearing, this is epic. With all three of these guys together, and honestly, I think it's bringing out the total best in all of them. This is great. Come on, let's hear some more. Let's bring this all the way back to the beginning of M's verse. Yeah, hip hop shit sell better than the coke did. 
like a satanic cult. It's an old ritual slaughtering goats, bitch. Yeah, you fucking with the original flow, sick, and anybody can get it. COVID. Fuck with that, I don't roll shit that was so sharp, I can slip my own fucking throat with it. So rich, I got more chips than my shoulders, and I'm about as approachable as a roach is. Yes. So better steer clear from it. Here comes a nuclear bomb for your eardrums. Lyricism at its most fearsome and fierce. We're on another tier like a tear duct's upper echelon. Your career sucked. It was sheer luck, like, like a fucking leprechaun with his beard cut. With a punisher, weapon drawn with a beer gut. He's slower than a Decepticon with his gear stuff. Yes, yes, I love it. Everything he said from the beginning, and then that unforgettable, and then uh, that's so rich, I got more chips in my shoulders. Get, you get it? Because he's got a chip on his shoulder all the time. And then chips, money, so rich, I got more chips in my shoulders. And then I love the way he used that full, like, you better stay clear of him. Here's a nuclear bomb for your eardrum lyricism at its most fearsome and fierce. I love it. These rhymes are sick. And then all that stuff about the tear duct and your career sucked. It was sheer luck, like a fucking leprechaun with this beard cut. Get it? Sheer luck. You know, the sheer cut something. And then luck, leprechaun with his beard cut. And then just all that shit. I'm still a punisher, a uh, weapon drawn with a beard cut. You're slower than a Decepticon with a gear stuck. Damn, I live for rhymes like that from him. And he's doing it over a Dr. Dre beat with Dre rapping on there with them. Not only that, they've got the legendary D.O.C. on there doing the hook. Oh, my God. All right, let's get some more, guys. I got to hear some more right now. And I what? I serial kill in your Kellogg's. I love checks and I hate tricks. And you're a fake bitch. I can spot you like you about to weight lift. Yeah. Bitch, I'm better than cake mix. But I can't be whipped with egg beaters. Nah. You cunts must be out of your labias. And God's my alias. So if I don't have faith in me, then it basically makes me an atheist. <laughs> yes. I'm a serial kill in your Kellogg's. I love checks, but I hate tricks. All those double entendres with cereal. Because I serial kill in your Kellogg's. Kellogg's is a cereal. And then also, I love checks. Checks is a cereal, but you can also cash checks. And then also, tricks. That's a cereal. He said, I hate tricks. It's a cereal, but also, there's some hooker ass women out there that you can definitely call tricks. Then I like what he said, uh, You're a fake bitch. I could spot like you're about to weight lift. Get it? Because when you weight lift, you need a spotter. So he said, He can spot a fake bitch like she's about to weight lift. Yes. Man, he is so sick with the wordplay and double entendres. And then he said, uh, I'm better than cake mix. Get it? Because cake mix and batter. And then uh, what really drew my attention is, is when he said, if God is my alias, because get it? He's the rap God. So if God is my alias, if I don't have faith in myself, then that I guess that makes me an atheist. Yes, man. Eminem is killing it. He's just killing this shit. Man, M is just destroying it on this beat. Let's get some more right effing now. Atheist. Nick Diaz got the world by the tracheas and the chokehold and the sleeper. Yeah, and me and Dre are like dog hair. We're both in our lab coats like retrievers. But like a Doberman, I'm a whole different breeder. What animal mutt mix with an overachiever? Oh, you're the king of rap. You're about to be overthrown like a pass over the head of an open receiver. That shit was cool about the trachea and the sleeper. And then all those double entendres about the dog hair and the lab coats, Golden Retriever and Doberman, like it's their coats. And then he says, I'm a whole different breed of animal and mutt mixed with an overachiever. But the whole shit that I like the best out of all that, which was really great, I like the shit where he says, oh, you're the king of rap. You're about to be overthrown like the pass over ahead of a receiver. Yes. All right, let's get to it. Let's hear the rest of M's verse. She could end up coming to blows like a wiener, but I ain't finished with putting these hoes through the ringer. Like clothes in between the two rollers of weight. No, what I mean is clothes in a wove, and I treat them like thread. Why it's how I wind up so in machine up. So fucks if you don't give them either time to ride or die, cause you're either both or you need to throw a middle finger rock if you're rolling, but me, I'm gonna. Man, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> that shit was crazy. Time to ride or die, cause you're either both or you're neither. I don't. I'm not even gonna break this one down for you guys. No way. This is too crazy. I am blown out. Yeah, man. M's verse is straight fire. I actually feel bad for having to stop so many times and chop it up. So what I'm gonna do is rewind it, 
We're gonna listen to M's verse from the beginning of it, totally uninterrupted, and then hear the hook at the end with the DOC, and then I'll be back. Like a satanic cult, it's an old ritual slaughtering goats, bitch. You're fucking with the original, flow sick, and anybody can get it. COVID. With that. I don't roll shit that was so sharp, I can slip my own fucking throat with it. So rich, I got more chips than my shoulders, and I'm about as approachable as a roaches. Just so better steer clear from it. Here comes a nuclear bomb for your eardrums. Lyricism at its most fearsome and fierce. We're on another tier like a tear ducts up an echelon. Your career sucked me to do a sheer luck, like, like a fucking leprechaun with his beard cut. With a punisher, weapon drawn with a beer gut. You're slower than a Decepticon with his gear stuff. And I what? I serial kill in your Kellogg's. I love checks and I hate tricks, and you're a fake bitch. I can spot you like you about to weight lift yeah. Bitch I'm better than cake mix But I can't be whipped with egg beaters nah. You cunts must be out of your labias And God's my alias So if I don't have faith in me Then it basically makes me an atheist <laughs> Nick Diaz got the world by the tracheas And the chokehold and the sleeper Yeah, And me and Dre are like dog hair We're both in our lab coats like retrievers But like a Doberman I'm a whole different breeder what? Animal mutt mixed with an overachiever yeah. Oh you're the king of rap You're about to be overthrown Like a pass over the head of an open receiver <laughs> This shit could end up coming to blows like a wiener yeah. But I ain't finished with Putting these hoes through the ringer Not like closing between the two rollers of weight No, what I mean is flows in the rope And I treat them like thread Why it's how I wind up so in machine up So fucks if you don't give them either time to ride or die Cause you're either both or you need to throw a middle finger off If you're rolling but me I'm gonna Ride right till I die Give a fuck if you bitches die Put a motherfucking hole in your face Back up bitch don't even try I am that in the coldest, why you own that? No one knows us. Overdosed on what dope is. Hip hop shit sell better than the coke did. Man, I love it. I love the whole song. The time and energy they put into the production of it. Each sound and sound effect and ad lib and everything they did on it is just so perfect. Hey, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Nah, motherfucker, they're the best. Eminem is the greatest rapper of all time. Not a doubt. I mean, he's on more legendary rappers' top five lists than any other rapper. And I mean, look what he's done. Not only his record sales, but look how loyal his fans are and how much we love him. Look at him on stage and look who he says he brought with him, just like on this song. Speaking of Dr. F and Dre, he is the ultimate producer of all time. He's the one who brought us these legends like DOC, NWA, Eminem, Snoop Dogg, and countless others. He's worked with Tupac and so many other important people. I mean, he is just such a living legend. Great rapper, producer, businessman. He, it's just crazy. He's the number one producer, period. Anyone else saying otherwise? Jay's got a little message for you. Motherfucker, I'm great. I don't need your respect. I don't need to make another album, bitch. I don't gotta do shit. I do it because I want to, not to stay in the game. Fuck the fame. I'm still staying the same, little bitch. That's right, because this is Dr. Fucking Dre from NWA, motherfuckers. I started this gangsta shit. Dre, what do you think about Jermaine Dupri or anyone else dissing you or thinking that they took your spot? So far under my radar, I don't even know who the fuck you are to tell you to suck my dick while I'm pissing. I don't even listen to your shit to know who the fuck I'm dissing. <laughs> yes, I love it. Dr. Dre is a fucking king. Man, he's been in the industry since day one killing it, and he's still making fire and killing it. I love it. I love it. I love this shit like that that he says. And then you got DOC, another freaking legend in the game. Been one of the greatest MCs of all time. Check this out. Do you guys remember this? I had originally put a clip of his debut smash single, It's Funky Enough, right here. However, fucking NBC immediately blocked the motherfucker so you guys couldn't see any of my whole video. So I had to take it down and put something in there that kind of made sense. So I'm kind of explaining it. So I'm putting a picture of the cover of his single, It's Funky Enough, and then it's another picture of him with the lyrics, and then I start talking again, so there's that. You guys can go look it up, though, and listen to it for yourselves after. So. And he's a dope MC, and I love that beat that he had on there. 
That was so cool back in the day. Think of that kicking it with Easy E and Dre and Ice Cube and Ren and Yella. Them guys are just all kicking it, making music and shit. Yeah, man, I love uh, I love his music. He also uh, made some later albums called Helter Skelter and Deuce. So that's what I got for you guys today. Dr. Dre Gospel featuring Eminem with the guest appearance by the DOC. I know you guys love this shit. So right now, you smash and hit that like button. I know damn well you don't want to miss any videos from me in the future. So get off your ass and drop kick that subscribe button. Huge shout out and extra, extra, extra special thanks to Casino Cuzzo for letting me have his music on my show. On my intro, I have his smash hit come from off of his groundbreaking debut album, Relentless Volume 1. Every fucking song on there is incredible. I never have to skip any. It's always in my playlist, and I love it. It's always got good songs in there, stories about life. It's got great bars, metaphors, punchlines, everything that you could want in rap. And this guy does it. He puts his heart and soul into it. And he's a great friend of mine, and he really deserves the best. Go check it out. I put, Like I said, I put his link in the description. He's got great merchandise as well. He's got t-shirts, he's also got awesome hoodies that match sweatpants and shit embroidered all over. Man, it's, it's awesome. I got a sweatsuit coming, and also, like I said, I got a t-shirt. You can go back and look at my Casino Cuzzo episode and see the t-shirt and everything. Man, it's, this guy's just the best. Go check it out, go click on the link, go buy his albums, go buy some of his clothes. You'll look fly as hell. God bless, thank you for watching. I love it, I love you guys. Have a good night.